I'm a family physician from Dow Family Medicine. I have been here with the clinic at Rock and Stone for, I think we're going into our fifth year um, in February. Hi, I'm Cindy Campbell, I'm a public health nurse. So we know that one of the biggest social determinants of health and success in one's life is graduation from high school. And so we do all we can to support the academics. That is the ultimate goal. But health has got to be the partner and the big player in that and the basic needs have to be met. Hey buddy. Come in and see the doctor. How's it going? I'm Ryan. A number of years back, um, we realized that many people um, needed to see a doctor that couldn't get into a doctor and may spend days and days um, missing school, being absent from school. So we worked with the Dalhousie Family Medicine team and um, recruited the doctors to come here, knowing full well that um, most of the moms would take, um, you know, the three or four or five children that they may have out of school uh, for two bus rides downtown to an appointment for one child's runny nose and then two bus loads back um, and they would miss a whole day of school all four or five children um, because the, the mother had to care for them while they were at school. It's just made my life so much easier. It's great they don't miss no time. They're here so you grab them, you walk down the hall, you see the doctor and then you can send them on their way back to class and then you can still talk to the doctor. Many of our parents have expressed to us how fortunate they feel that they're able to access the doctors and some have access the pediatrician here in the building. They say that without the ability to come to the school, they might not ever have access. Tuesday morning they come to the health center and offer uh, um, general practitioner services. Very convenient, very easy for um, parents to come in and bring their children so they don't have to uh, miss any part of their school academic day. So it's wonderful. And My job is to provide primary care. Coming to the school, for me, um, drove home the influence of the determinants of health. There's no better place to see them played out than in this kind of an environment um, where you see people um, trying to uh, get care for their children um, and try to jump through the hoops to get care for their children. Um, and what the, I think what this clinic says is you really have to meet them where they are, creating a path of least resistance. We try and, you know, peel back the layers a little bit and um, work with the presenting issues and um, support them, offer guidance and information, and ultimately the goal being um, being ready to learn and succeeding academically. This is a safe environment where families and children can come. Um, and I'm not creating a safe environment, it's already been created at the school. The school is the safe environment. No matter what happens, they know they can always come to the school. There's, there's no judgment here, we just want to help you, what do you need? Some of the complexities of the issues that they were seeing with some of the students um, were far-reaching their own scope of practice, so they recruited a pediatrician who then comes um, once a month based on referrals from the doctors that they're seeing. So anyone from ages zero right through to 15 years old um, that the pediatrician can see here. And it's wonderful because um, the school is a great P to nine with a pre-primary program and an early year center. So we truly have a whole spectrum of, of uh, students here at all age groups that we need to address health issues. So. The team approach is excellent um, and that breaks down communication barriers which just facilitates care. It's a magical, um, you know, kind of uh, collaboration of work together. That Folks here, so, you know, principal down to teachers, a guidance counselor, the uh, um, public health nurse, they all say that they see the benefit. So we continue to do the work. It's been the highlight of my career to be able to be a nurse and involved in people's uh, care at, you know, sometimes the lowest point of their life and to build them up to uh, um, to make, you know, incredible success stories. When we see the grade nines walk across that stage with all their adversities and all their challenges and it's just so rewarding. It's just wonderful, you know, and, and it's a whole team approach that has made some of these success stories happen. So the whole community is beginning to see success and see change um, based on um, some of the things that have been implemented in this school in the last five or six years so mm -hmm. yeah and they know that they have access to all kinds of different people whether it be schools plus whether it be our guidance counselor whether it be the early years center with parent programming you know there are so many partnerships that on a regular basis we access to the benefit of the students the relationship with the school has been easy um, in that they want us here they want to teach children. They don't want to have to worry about their health care. And so when they see a child not doing well, 
they know that they can come to us. And I think that has made that piece a little bit easier.